Hello friends, I'm Saurabh. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is how to find an element in a sorted rotated array. So the problem statement is given a sorted integer array which is rotated any number of times and an integer number we have to find the index of number in the array. If not found we have to return minus 1. Let us take one example to understand this. Consider the following sorted rotated array. We have to find number 35 in it. The index of 35 is 5 so we return 5 is the answer. Consider another number 27. Since index of 27 is not found we return minus 1 as the answer. Let us quickly go through the linear search algorithm which is a simple solution of this problem. In linear search algorithm we compare number with each element in the array starting from the first element till either we find the number or reach end of the array in which case we return minus 1 as the answer. Let us take one example to understand the linear search algorithm. Consider the following sorted rotated array. We have to find number 35 in it. We compare first element with the number. Since 78 is not equal to 35 we move on to next element of the array. Again 82 is not equal to 35 we move on to next element of the array. We keep on doing this till either we find the number or reach end of the array. On fifth index we are able to find the element. So we return 5 as the answer. Time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1. This algorithm is not efficient as it does not use the given condition that array is sorted and rotated. So for an array which has 1 million entries in worst case there would be 1 million comparisons which is inefficient because we can make use of sorted and rotated property of the array efficiently to reduce number of comparisons. Now we will take a look at efficient algorithm which makes use of binary search algorithm and finds the element in log n time. It is recommended to go through binary search topic first which you can do by clicking the annotation here. Let us try to understand the algorithm using a sample sorted rotated array shown below. First step is to find index of pivot element. Pivot element is the minimum element in the sorted rotated array. Here pivot is 10 at index 5. So pivot divides the array into two sorted arrays. First array is on the left of pivot from start index to pivot index minus 1 which is index 0 to 4 and other sorted array is on right starting from pivot index to end index which is index 5 to 7. Now next step is to find to which part of the array does the number we want to search belong. Now if the number we want to search lies in first part of the array we search the number in first part using binary search. Consider one example. If we want to search element 75 and since 75 lies in first part of the array we use binary search to find the element in first part. Similarly if the number we want to search lies in second part of the array we search the number in second part using binary search. Consider one example. If we want to search for element 24 and since 24 lies in second part of the array we use binary search to find the element in second part. We will try to visualize the algorithm through a simple animation. Consider the following sorted rotated array. We have to find number 54. So first step is to find pivot index. Algorithm for finding pivot index is if array of 0 is less than equal to array of length of array minus 1 it means the array is not rotated so we return 0. Otherwise initialize start equal to 0 and equal to length of array minus 1. Repeat following steps till start is less than equal to end. Set mid equal to start plus end by 2. If mid plus 1 is pivot then break. If array of start is less than equal to array of mid it means from start to mid all elements are in sorted order. Set start equal to mid plus 1 so that we look for pivot in second half of the array. Else set end equal to mid minus 1 to look for pivot in first half. We will try to visualize the algorithm through a simple animation. Consider the following array. The first step is to check whether the array is rotated or not. Since 73 is greater than 66 so array is rotated. We proceed with next steps. We initialize start equal to 0 and end equal to length of array minus 1. We will start with first iteration of our loop. So first we calculate mid. Mid is equal to start plus n by 2 which is 4. Then we check if mid plus 1 is pivot. No it is not because 27 is less than 34. The next step is to check whether array of start is less than equal to array of mid. No it is not. So we move to else condition where we set n equal to mid minus 1. Let's move on to second iteration of our loop. We calculate mid again which is 1. Then we check if mid plus 1 is pivot. It is not because 85 is less than 94. Then we check if array of start is less than equal to array of mid. Yes the condition is true. So we set start equal to mid plus 1. We move on to next iteration of our loop. 
we calculate mid again which is 2 then we check if mid plus 1 is pivot condition for checking pivot is if array of mid is greater than array of mid plus 1 then mid plus 1 is our pivot here 94 is greater than 21 so this condition is true therefore pivot is mid plus 1 which is 3 now 3 is our pivot index and we have to find number 54 since 54 lies between pivot index and n index therefore we use binary search in second half of the array so we set start equal to 3 and end equal to 8 now second step is to find the number using binary search in partial array which is sorted and which starts at index 3 and ends at index 8 algorithm for the binary search is we repeat following steps till start is less than or equal to n set mid equal to start plus n by 2 check if array of mid equal to number then return mid if number is less than array of mid set end equal to mid minus 1 else set start equal to mid plus 1 if we are out of the loop and we are not able to find the element we return minus 1 we will resume execution of our algorithm so start is currently pointing to index 3 and end is pointing to index 8 since start is less than equal to end we calculate mid which is 5 here array of mid is not equal to number and since partial array in consideration is sorted and 54 is greater than 34 54 will be on right of 34 so we set start equal to mid plus 1 we move on to second iteration of our binary search algorithm so here again start is less than equal to end we calculate mid which is 7 here array of mid is the number we are searching for which is 54 so we return mid which is 7 as our solution code for the algorithm can be found in the section below the video step 1 of our algorithm was to find pivot index which takes order of log n time and step 2 was to find element in partial array which is sorted using binary search which again takes order of log n time so overall time complexity is order of log n and space complexity is order of 1 how will you find an element in sorted rotated array without finding pivot element please let us know your valuable suggestions on current topic if you liked our video please subscribe to our i deserve channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you